This video is sponsored by Chewy's Halal Vitamins, suitable for all the family. Try your first Chewy's Halal Vitamins this month for only £1.99. Simply enter code TRYCHEWYS at checkout. They offer worldwide delivery and no quibble 30-day money-back guarantee. I'd like to share with you a beautiful narration that appears in Sahih al-Bukhari narrated by Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu wherein he speaks of the sweetness of this iman and belief that we have. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam has spoken of the sweetness of iman. This means that the iman and the belief I have and you have has a taste to it. It has a taste far more delicious and sumptuous than any meal that you could have. Than anything that one could taste. The taste of Iman. The question I have before we commence. How many of us have tasted the sweetness of belief? We say we are believers. We say we are submitters. Which means we say we are mu'mineen and we say we are muslimin. But sometimes neither have we submitted nor is our belief up to the level it is supposed to be. Although life continues to be a struggle in the right direction, each one of us trying his or her best to achieve the pleasure of the Almighty, we need to remember never to lose focus upon this. So what is it that will make us achieve the sweetness and taste it? There are three qualities if they are found in a person that person will be able to taste the sweetness of Iman. And these qualities, some of these scholars have made mention of how each person will enjoy the sweetness of Iman according to the level of fulfillment of these qualities. The first quality that is made mention of by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this beautiful narration, أَنْ يَكُونَ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ أَحَبَّ إِلَيْهِ مِمَّا سِوَاهُمَا the person whom, for him, Allah and his messenger is more loved than anyone and everyone else, than anything and everything else. So if I were to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger more than my wealth, I will make sure that whatever I do to earn or spend is not in the displeasure of Allah, but within his pleasure. And on top of that, I make sure that I spend. And when I spend, it is because my love for Allah has exceeded my love for wealth. The same applies to my dress code. I cannot allow myself to love my limbs more than I love Allah. I cannot allow myself to love my hair more than I love Allah. I cannot allow myself to love my looks when I look in the mirror more than I love Allah. If I love Allah more than my looks, I will make sure I look something similar to that which will please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I love Allah more than my hair, I will make sure, and this is more addressed to the sisters, that the hair is covered. Because that is what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We will not be able to taste the sweetness of Iman if we allow our love for the jewelry we have, for the perfumes we have, Perhaps for the clothing we have, the hair, the limbs, the organs, the materialistic items, if I allow my love for that to exceed the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I may never ever taste the sweetness of this belief and iman with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in Allah.